Hello, welcome back and thanks for clicking on this video. Last time I showed you this notebook and how I started building a campaign with a guild and uh, how I used this dotted type of uh, notebook for journaling and in the same time uh, drawing maps. So it was kind of a combined uh, journal. And when I ran out of pages, I needed something uh, to continue the adventures of the guild and uh, the guild members. Uh, when I checked my shelf, I found some uh, empty notebooks with lines, with basic math grid, or just with blank empty spaces, empty pages. Um, so I had to buy something and I was totally uh, in love with uh, the dotted uh, type of books. So I had this one, which is a very, very uh, small uh, notebook, just um, really a uh, few pages, as you can see, it's not uh, big, but uh, it has something I didn't try yet. Uh, it is flexible. So as you can see, here is a web page, and I already checked this web page that uh, I can order uh, just extra pages, extra papers, or extra elements, uh, and I can uh, grow this notebook uh, basically uh, with with more papers. Um, but I didn't do it yet because I have some uh, empty pages still in this. Uh, so I decided to go with a journaling, I mean writing a uh, notebook, and a drawing notebook where uh, I will draw the maps. And this is just the continue of the story. So uh, it was already the end of the, mm, what was it? The long autumn when uh, Freemare decided to catch up on Devons, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Freemare was, uh, uh, the, as I remember, the first swashbuckler of uh, the guild or uh, very first uh, ones. So uh, here is the story, and as you can see, I used the same techniques that uh, uh, italic and, and continuous sentences for hooks, for stories in between the uh, dungeons. And as I uh, played the Three Rings uh, supplement this time, uh, which uh, don't have a map, doesn't have a map, um, or it can have a map, so uh, the setting is in a forest, and you can find entrances to smaller dungeons uh, while playing the main story. So, uh, as I didn't have to uh, draw a dungeon this time, I just changed the font type and I started to note what I uh, met with in the forest. And uh, when I had to draw something, so for example, uh, I uh, went to, with the Twisted Dungeon supplement and uh, uh, I wrote the 60 second uh, twist, and this time I already needed something. So I started to use this notebook and uh, empty first page. So uh, this is something from the Three Rings. And here is the Mosquito Invasion Dungeon. And uh, it is something again, uh, like I mentioned uh, last time about the underwater um, quest, the underwater dungeon. Uh, it is just... Uh, because of the design, it could be uh, an, underwater, uh, uh, an underground cave system uh, where I can imagine more easily that there is a mosquito invasion uh, in there. So we definitely need plans uh, because of the mosquitoes. And uh, I tried to uh, draw the lines not as clear as uh, previously. So as you can see, um, it, it is this this room, so you can count the three times, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. So it's a three times six uh, basic room, but I just imagine that the walls are not uh, not clean. We are in a cave uh, uh, swarmed uh, by mosquitoes. So uh, I imagine that how the walls are just cut out of the the ground. And as you can see, I added some stones, some uh, larger stone piles, or I, I wanted to uh, draw stones, um, which was very interesting experience because I already had experience with stones, the round ones and, uh, and um, square ones. Uh, but this time I, I knew that a stone or a rock is, is uh, something not a uh, geometrical form uh, or not, not a perfect form. Uh, and I just, uh, I remember I just started to try draw something. And uh, there was a huge uh, a place I, I uh, drawed, but nothing in, 
inside. And I was like, okay, uh, stone is not flat or not all of the stones are flat. So I just put my pen uh, very, very uh, carefully to the paper and uh, draw these little lines in the rock. And somehow it, it became a formation of rocks. Uh, here is another one and here is another one, which is a bit strange because it's kind of a line of rocks. Uh, and the other thing I added uh, were the plants. Uh, I did uh, it like uh, like this and these just just a few flowers or, or leafy plants uh, for the empty uh, blank spaces and uh, later I, I tried this uh, this one like uh, mm, how to say what's his name so you know when when the the plants are overgrown and and they run everywhere uh, and this was the last one. Uh, I made, I remember that was the, okay, I have a huge uh, empty blank space here in the middle of the page, so I have to draw something, and and in this uh, drawing, I combined all my <laughs> little experiences around the, the page, so that's how I built this, and uh, you can see the shadows, I... Uh, decided to go with this one that the light is coming from the the upper uh, upper left corner of the page uh, and uh, I always use this type of uh, shadows going uh, west and south basically so uh, right and down so this is how I built this and uh, as I mentioned uh, about the underwater dungeon it is the same situation that uh, the setting, the theme, the design, it, it will all uh, uh, based on uh, what elements uh, do you put around the caves and how you draw the, the walls of the caves, uh, the rooms and corridors. Uh, uh, yeah, and there's an interesting thing. Uh, I found a secret room, a hidden room, uh, by clues, secret, something like this. I don't remember really what happened in this room, but I needed a secret room. Uh, so I uh, I was run out of uh, a space already. Uh, I could I could draw like this, like like a, a tunnel I couldn't see, but uh, the heroes could move along and uh, they arrived to this uh, chamber. And of course, track back after uh, the discovery. So that was the mosquito invasion uh, dungeon. And uh, I realized that, yeah, I will have a book with full of dungeons. So as I went uh, through the, the different uh, stories, uh, Murezo's quest from the, oh, what's the name of the supplement? Uh, Warlike Rules. Uh, there, there is a, a short quest. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that one too. Uh, I made up some some uh, uh, hooks and some of my own stories, uh, but you can see that I replayed Caverns of Chaos. Uh, I played all the six missions with the first party with with the first huge uh, uh, notebook, but uh, I wanted to do it again and properly. And and I really liked the stories of uh, the Caverns of Chaos. So how I go with the journaling, I realized that, hey, I will have a notebook with all the maps, and I started to label to uh, be able to match uh, uh, later what what was uh, there. So this is a Gnomish Clockwork Factory, another twisted dungeon. Um, and I remember I drew the uh, dungeon, and I, okay, uh, add something to be more Gnomish, or more Clockwork, or more Factory, and I've never drawn uh, uh, these type of uh, decorations previously, so it was again an experiment. And um, about the dungeon style, I've uh, seen this type of uh, fortress, uh, factory, some mechanical uh, related uh, team somewhere, I don't remember, uh, and I, I wanted to try this. And I never, I've never done uh, this uh, since, uh, since this drawing, because um, it is time. You cannot just uh, do it quickly. I could do with the pencil and then redraw it with pen, uh, but I use the pen uh, as I as I take the notes and do the journal and uh, draw the map, so I have just one pen in my hand for the whole process. Um, and I, while drawing, I had to think about that, okay, I cannot close all the, the room elements, all the bricks around the room, because I will need space for, for these uh, different uh, directioned bricks, or I don't know how I call these elements of the building. So uh, it was it was interesting uh, to see that uh, when I had to draw too much 
while I'm on adventure, I, uh, I, I lost uh, uh, the flow. So uh, it was, okay, I will do this because I started with this design, I wanted to uh, try it, but I realized that I cannot do uh, too much detail because I cannot uh, follow the story uh, with, with that much intensity I would like. So I really like how it went and I really like the, uh, the uh, overall uh, uh, drawing, but uh, I cannot do this for, for all uh, my dungeons. Another thing about the shading. Whenever you go to an underground or underwater dungeon, you are in the ground, in something. So I used these uh, internal shadows in the caves and corridors. For this, it is a building coming up from the ground. Uh, so I used outer shadows. It was, uh, it was uh, very, very exhausting, honestly, to shadow all these little parts uh, in all the corridors and all the rooms. That was another reason I've never done this again. Uh, but, but I like how it looks like. Uh, it depends on you. If you like that, okay, I will have something beautiful at the end uh, and uh, it worth my time and my energy, let's do this. Um, it's not my style. So this time you can see that the shadows, the shadows are outside of the building. So it has a different feeling. It is like we are going down inside the paper and here it is coming up from the paper, it's coming out. Uh, so this is a different uh, uh, thing you can try playing with shadows inside and outside of the rooms. And then I went to the caverns of chaos this is this was the first uh, uh mission i do uh, i did uh the second one um numbered in the supplement and i tried this time these uh, rice like uh stones so it's not round it's not uh, square it's it's something like a uh, rice or an almond uh the this type this form was uh, what i was curious about and it has a strange uh, uh different feeling uh, just to look at this uh, caverns and uh, as I played all the six missions I oh sorry another something in between uh, yeah here it is uh, I decided to do with uh, one style and not this style it was okay new and uh, yeah I, I, I see it is as, as it is and I, I like how it came out but I just don't really feel these are rocks it's like something uh, like the grain or, or something organic or natural, not like uh, um, rocks uh, and, and uh, uh, pebbles maybe, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was something strange for me. So I went back uh, and uh, I finally found this uh, rock design, which is kind of uh, just random. I just put the pen and, and draw the different rocks and different forms. And as you can see, uh, sometimes I've put uh, two or more dungeons to one page or just a big one if the layout went like this. Uh, and I started to think about what, of, what about uh, the dead ends, what about the unexplored areas of the dungeon. And as you can see, I just uh, uh, maybe the heroes could uh, look in that uh, corridor, but decided to, OK, go to another way. So they have some impression that the, the corridor will continue. But we can see more and I did like this that okay follow the walls of the corridors but with a bit rarer uh, um, rocks and and that's how I, I finished this uh, corridor so I went through the caverns of chaos same here and as you could see I used the same rock style the same shadowing style uh here uh again the the dots for the uh dirty ground here is yeah another one yeah it was interesting that uh uh, I already finished the the, the main quest um, and I could leave the dungeon and uh, I continued and I was like, okay, enough, <laughs> Let, let's just uh, go out. And as you can see, sometimes I like to finish it fully, dots for the ground. And this time I was like, ah, oh, okay, it's how it is. Here is another underwater dungeon and it is a good example that do what you enjoy. 
I enjoyed the quest, I enjoyed the mission, I enjoyed drawing the dungeon, and now you can see uh, the dungeon I draw while playing and how I decorate it later. And uh, I remember I wanted to finish this decoration, but I was like, okay, waves, 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 I'm tired, it's evening, let's just finish it next time, uh, and I never finished it. But it can happen, and it, I like how it formed because it shows the progress. So maybe I never will uh, finish this one. And here is another one inspired by the Mosquito uh, Invasion uh, mission. Uh, it is almost the same. I wanted to be sure I could draw more uh, flowers or more uh, decoration. So uh, here you can see I already started to use, uh, which was the last element uh, in the, uh, before, uh, so I was a bit more confident drawing these uh, leaves and, and uh, flowers. And this was the new element, how to draw a bucket of flowers, uh, which really looks like not just a messy something on the paper, but, but you can recognize it. And uh, I watched uh, many, many uh, pictures and videos uh, on the internet uh, how, to, how to do this. So uh, if you have some inspiration, you can learn from others. And here is another one, which is uh, three caves, three different types of caves and three different missions. This is something uh, in, a, in a town, in a city, using the town bricks. And um, you can imagine that these are uh, rooms, fully, fully built building, but maybe these elements are just uh, stone uh, fences in a garden. So I, I tried uh, different styles and the different uh, areas uh, with the same tile set and in the same uh, setup. Here is a random dungeon and here is a mushroomy one uh, and uh, I didn't really like it. It was a swampy mushroom theme and I was okay with this, these mushrooms, but uh, I don't know if you recognize these are some mushroomy things and uh, I also couldn't find a way to add the swamp so I just draw little waves here and there but it's I, I feel it's like uh, it, it's just messy and uh, I don't feel the swamp I don't feel the mushrooms I feel that there are some things but but what's it so um, yeah it's it's again a good experiment and going to overland adventures this will be next time so Today you could see that if you don't have one perfect notebook with one perfect paper, you can do it in two, one for journaling and another for mapping. Thanks for watching.